Nowadays, there are a ton of multiplayer games on the market, and even more people who play them. This makes sense. Humans, as social creatures, enjoy playing games when there's a social element to it. We enjoy collaboration and experience a level of reward in multiplayer that is unmatched in single player games. Our need to be a part of a community is not only ingrained in our psychology and not only affects our actions, it literally has effects on our physical well-being. A 2008 study by Maya Reblin and Bert Uccino, considering the effects of social interaction on well-being, showed that people who receive social and emotional support are less likely to experience serious health problems such as myocardial infarction later in life. Thing is, community isn't just an important part of the kind of resource usage you might find in, say, playing a video game. It's equally important in resource creation. Take, for example, game design. See, it's possible to complete any big project by oneself, and looking at any game database yields plenty of games developed by single individuals. However, generally speaking, the best projects, the most important, influential, or just outright successful projects tend to involve teams of people. And especially in game design, even the most, even the most famous individuals rely on other people for help when their skill sets don't quite cover everything. Take the critically acclaimed video game Braid, for example. Widely praised as one of the greatest video games ever created, it's also known as the epitome of indie video games, as it was designed and scripted by one person, Jonathan Blow. However, despite his massive presence within the game's development, even he did not complete the game all by himself. He turned to another person, David Hellman, in order to finish the game's art. And as another more recent example, Undertale is another very, very famous indie video game, and indeed, Toby Fox was behind the creative vision and the scripting once again. But likewise, he also turned to another individual for help with, his, with the arts. Okay, but these are just a few examples. Why does this matter to me? Why would this matter to you? Why is community all that important anyways? Well, to answer that problem, we have to think about the very definition of community by itself. See, a physical group of people all working together on a game might be considered a small community in and of itself. However, especially in a field like game design where people aren't always going to be necessarily working with each other physically, community can be a lot more than just the physical group of people. It can be the collective set of resources that people contribute to over time. When you have something like that, it's very easy to solve any problem you may have and to find inspiration without diluting your own vision and while still remaining self-reliant. Just as an example, in the world of game design, different low-budget tools frequently have documentation on their own. However, relying simply on what limited reach that limited documentation provides can, is not always necessarily helpful which is why people so often turn towards community-made guides and tutorials, because they provide beneficial ways of learning new topics. And as well, forums also provide an important space, not only because they provide quick answers to any problems that one may have, and not only because they provide good inspiration, but also because they provide personal feedback. And as I mentioned earlier, a good portion of community has to do with support. So personal feedback, of course, is not only helpful, but actually necessary. So all in all, community provides a level of reach into places that cannot be afforded if you decide not to partake in it. So I personally have relied on the community many times. See, whenever I'm working on a game, I often encounter many problems. And it's not always just big problems that I have to turn to the community for either. It's often smaller problems as well. As you can see here, I once encountered a bit of an ugly graphical problem. One of the objects within my game was exhibiting some graphical artifact, and I had no idea how to solve that problem. And looking at the default documentation did not provide me with any hint whatsoever, so I decided to turn towards the community. I went to the Unity forums, and in within 20 seconds, I had found the solution already. And the speed at which I was able to find that solution pretty much epitomizes the value of community. And of course, if you're still not inclined to believe in the importance of community in this field, then let me turn to something far more, something far more fundamental than game design, story design. 
of course, an important part of any creative media. It's often hard to flesh out or finish an idea if you have nothing to base it off of. But turning towards the community provides very important, in, very important inspiration in various different areas. People love to post writing prompts, thematic photos, paintings, you name it. So if you ever need to look for some kind of inspiration, you can easily turn, turn towards the community. And just as an example, the painting on the right here is a painting, I believe, from the 1910s by American artist Edward Hopper. The actual copy of this painting, the photo here, I took from a Tumblr blog. And since Edward Hopper is a big inspiration in my own work, it's sites like these that provide invaluable resources towards my own physical, or towards my own work. So to conclude, community provides a lot of important inspiration and a lot of ways of solving any problem that you may have. But the thing about community is that it's not just like any other resource. It's far larger in scope and it's far more accessible. So, if you ever run into any problem, let's say if you're searching for some fact or you need some kind of inspiration and you've been scouring books or papers for hours and you just can't find anything, then I recommend nothing else but to turn towards the community. With the infinite wealth of ideas around you, you may be surprised by what you find. Thank you very much.